Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. In today's video, we have a really neat little gadget, I would say, or accessory. And this is for the jack stands, jacks, and the jacking points on a vehicle. Now, I wanna give where credit's due because I had no idea that these existed. We recently posted our NSX O change video on the NSX Prime Facebook page, and a couple people responded on it. And one of those was Matash and Kenny, and they told me, they sent me some links about these adapters that help prevent damage in your car. Now, what happened is I didn't put the, uh, I didn't lay the NSX down on this jack, stand in the NSX video. And the reason why is because it usually damages it. And this is kind of like at a V and it just, I just don't want to damage the car. So they told me about these adapters which solve those issues. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the ones that they recommend. I bought an extra one and we're going to test them out. So this should be a really cool video. I really appreciate you guys introducing me to these. So let's test them out, look at them and go from there. So our first adapter is going to be the one for the jack stand and I purchased this on Amazon. I'm going to be posting all the links to these products on the description. So if you want to look at them, review them or buy them, they're going to be there for you. Okay. So the first one is called the seven Sparta jack pad adapter for jack stands, two to three ton universal. And this is how it came from Amazon. Let's go ahead and remove it. And my first impression is that it's good. It, it feels like pretty solid rubber. And I like that it has some give right here, a tiny bit of give. I have to put some force in here, which tells me that it's, it's a good rubber. It's not just a cheap, hard plastic type of rubber, which I like. All right, let's go ahead and uh, look at it up close so you guys can see it. And that looks pretty great. All right, so let's go ahead and put it on our jack stand. All right, this is a three ton uh, jack stand and I'm going to put it on. And guys, that fits really well, like really well. And I love it because my biggest issue with jack stands in general is the metal, the metal contact. And as you could tell on the, the cars, the jacking points are usually this uh, a line of metal that's designed to put it on there. but the way that this jack stand was designed, it just, you know, like I said earlier, it could damage it. But what I love about this is that it adds this rubber part and it feels like it's a tighter fit and it solves the metal metal contact. I really like that. That looks great. Okay. So we're going to test this on the car and then go from there. So our next adapter is going to be by Auto Accessories Dealer. And this is going to be designed for the jack itself. Let's go ahead and remove one. This is the packaging that it came from Amazon. All right, my first impression is that it looks like a hockey puck. Don't recommend using it for a hockey puck, but it's a little stiffer than the other one. And I think that makes sense since it's used uh, for the jack itself. I do like the cutout. Let's go ahead and show it to you up close. And I think that the concept's pretty straightforward. So what we'll do is we'll give it a try and give you the impression. So our last but not least adapter is by this company called Bayanis. I apologize if I mispronounced that, but let's read the description. The description is large slotted universal magnetic jack pad weld frame rail adapter for all models in blue. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. This is how it came from Amazon. Okay, my first impression is I like the color and uh, but I do have to note that there's some scratches, blemishes, and a little bit of chips. Now, as a consumer, this makes me feel like it's used. I'm not sure if it was or not, but it's a quality statement. But another thing I noticed is that it's metal or a form of aluminum. The main thing I'm trying to refrain from is a metal to metal contact, but inside here, there is some form of another material, which probably prevents that. Let's go in and show it to you up close. Okay, so what I do like about it is that the design makes sense for rail type of frames out there. I think it should help it be more secure and, uh, and make a better jacking experience. To start, we're gonna chalk block the front. And then we're gonna go ahead and make sure the emergency brake is on. 
and we're ready to start. Okay, before we start, look at this, guys. Some damage right there. It looks like somebody must have lifted it up or used an improper jack stand or something, but this is a good point of why trying to find something to protect your car when you're jacking it or putting on jack stands is important. All right, let's start. Okay, we're gonna slide this over. Make contact. All right, now we're lifting the car. So now we're gonna put the jack stand with our new adapter underneath here. We're gonna lay it down and see what happens. And look at that, that actually looks pretty good to me. Looks like the rubber piece is making contact with the top with the plate that it's supposed to be. And, uh, and there's no metal metal contact. So I like that a lot for real. And I'm gonna press down on the back of the car, see if it, nope, it's pretty sturdy. All right, I'm gonna lift it up. All right, and let's see how it looks when it's going back up. All right, let's see how it did. No cracks, looks good, it's still in place. I mean, I think this is a pretty good adapter. I like it because it protects um, the car and everything, so I think this is a really good adapter to buy. Okay, so our next one is gonna be the jack adapter or on the rail adapter. So it fits right there with the jack, but let's see if this narrow side is wide enough for the rail on the NSX. And that is a no. All right, I'm trying. Let me go to the side and see if I can slide it on. And that's a no. Let me see if it goes on the back one. On the back one, it does. So that's, that's an interesting thing. So we don't want to use it on the side one. We could use it on the back one. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, let me go ahead and just stick this on there first. Like that. See if I get it even. All right. And work our jack over. Let's jack it up. All right, it's jacked up. Let's look at it real quick. Looks like it's making contact. The rail is making contact to the bottom of the opening. All right, let's drop it down. Looks like we had to take it off, which is fine. I mean, I could technically leave it on there, but we want to see how it did. All right, let me turn this light off. Well, there's no cracking. Looks good all the way around. And what I do like about this one is that it's not as deep, so the rail actually made contact with it. This is a good one, I really like this one. It might not fit on the middle one, but that's this worked really well with the jack 
on, that, on the other jacking point. Cool. Okay, we're on our third one. Let's try it out. Okay, I'm not sure if these are... I can already tell that this is wider than this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test fit it underneath the car before I jack it up. It's also not fitting underneath there. So let's try it here. And it fits on this one. So let's give that a shot. Placing on jack. It matches the jack. That's pretty cool. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carefully, because I don't want to pinch myself between a jack and a car. It'd be very painful. So what I'm gonna do is slowly work my way in there. Okay, I've got it lined up. Let's give it a shot. Look at that real quick. Well, it looks like it's holding in place. It's fitting. It is metal to metal contact because it's not long, the, uh, the rail is not long enough to make contact with the bottom. But it's not bad because it's still being supported. Let's go ahead and lower it and see how it came out. I got stuck up there. All right. Well, it still has its shape, didn't bend or anything like that. So that's pretty good. All right, well, let's talk about our results. Oh, there's a chip right there. Okay. So that concludes our testing. What do I think? Well, I love the jack stand adapter. That worked amazing. So definitely a keeper. I love it. And I wish I would have known about it a long time ago. The hockey puck. <laughs> well, I really like this one. And in order for me to tell you why I like this one, I have to bring up this one. If you look at them, this is really deep. And when this connected with the rail, it, the rail never made contact with this other material, which I guess is supposed to be a buffer and it's supposed to be magnetic. So in reality, because of how deep it is, it's not gonna work for our car. Could it work for another car? Sure. But this one worked really well. So this is a keeper, this is really cool, and I'm excited. Now, I'm gonna have to return this one because it's not deep enough. And not only that, it got a little bit chipped again. That was my fault, but I kind of feel like the uh, a metal part is, isn't as durable as this rubber stuff. So it's a cool learning experience and a cool review on these items. Well, guys, I really like this video. This was a lot of fun. Again, thank you to the NSX community, the NSX Prime community for these guys introducing me to these parts. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. And don't forget to hit the like button. We always welcome you to subscribe and you guys have a great day.